Welcome back, beer tubers. It's that time of the year again that Firestone Walkers released their anniversary ale. This year is 17th anniversary. This is the eighth time they've done this. They've been doing it since their 10th anniversary. And as always, it's a blend of barrel aged beers. So let me read you off the list really quick. This beer is 30% Bravo, which is their brown ale, 25% Sticky Monkey, which is their barley wine, English style, 15% is Velvet Merkin, their oatmeal stout. 15% is Parabola, I think you guys know about that one. 8% uh, is Double DBA, so you've heard about that one probably. 4% is Helderada, which is their blonde barley wine. And 3% is Wookie Jack, their black IPA. So that's this year's blend. I got to try it on tap at the release at Stone. But I want to rever you know, get my final judgment tasting it out of the bottle. So it pours out. It looks more like a very dark barley wine. I get a lot of mahogany, a little bit of ruby red notes to it. It's definitely, this year's blend is is more towards those barley wine type of beers. Bravo kind of being more of a brown ale and then Sticky Monkey is just a big, huge English style barley wine. So uh, there's definitely a lot of legs on the glass. It's got the aroma. Oh yeah, oh man, it smells awesome. Uh, a lot going on. As you expect, um, you, you, I'm picking up predominantly barley wine, and then you kind of get those darker beers underneath. You get a little bit of hop character coming from both Helderado and uh, Wookie Jack. So you get a little bit of uh, like an aged hop character. But mostly it's big toffee, uh, bourbon, brandy notes, those sweeter notes. Uh, definitely like a big cherry note to it that I you get with Sticky Monkey, that that's coming out of the aroma. There's some other darker fruits, more of like a raisin uh, fig type of character. A little bit of like a darker chocolate coming from Velvet Merkin and Parabola. Those beers definitely kind of make their presence known in the aroma. It's really complex, so I mean I could sit here all night picking out stuff, but let's dig in. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's good. That's better than one I had on draft. Mm, yeah. I'm not picking up the uh, alcohol heat I was getting on draft. The bottle's a little mellower. Uh, it's 13.3% this year. And um, the yeah, it, it's fairly well hidden uh, in bottle form compared to draft. I thought I was a little on the hot side. As you can imagine, it's a very complex beer. It's pretty sweet this year. It, it leans towards the sweeter side. The finish is fairly dry. I think that's a combination of the, uh, the the barrel characteristics of the beers and a little bit of a hop note to it. But other than that, I don't taste as much hops on the flavor as I did on the draft version as well. Up front, you get a big, big, big sweetness. It's a big, sticky, toffee, caramel note. Midway through, you get a lot of that cherry character. And those other darker fruits kind of are, are present in the beer. But mostly, I get this just big intense cherry characteristic and it becomes sort of chocolate covered if you will thanks to the darker beers towards the back end as well and uh, you're definitely getting like a little bit of a spicy alcohol note to it the alcohol you know you, you taste it a little bit and you kind of feel it but other than that it's uh, very well masked this year they did a great job with it that's uh, 15 16 were on the hot were hotter than than this year's blend so they did a really very good job blending it this year. So the more you drink, the more like subtle notes, stuff starts to pop out here and there. I'm getting that nuttiness you get from Bravo, that brown ale. Get some of that nuttiness, and then mixed in with that brandy characteristic is kind of coming through a lot. I mean, the, there is a bourbon presence, you can tell, but it, it's got some of that, uh, hard to describe brandy other than that sort of grapeish sort of character. It reminds me maybe a, like a grape character you might get in a really good Belgian quad. Get some of that flavor. I'm also picking up like a date-like note. You get some nice sugary notes, like a not like a brown sugar. It's it's a little different. I don't know if date sugar would be the way to describe it, or uh, turbinado, or some of those demerara and those kind of like less processed sugars. You get some of that characteristic. It doesn't quite go into molasses for what I'm picking up, but Definitely get some sugary notes. It, even though it's on the sweeter side, it balances out pretty well. I think the alcohol is helping 
along with with a little bit of oak tannin you get in there. So I'm really liking this year's blend. This is blend. This is an easy A for me. Highly recommend picking up Firestone Walker 17th anniversary beer. I can't wait to see what this beer does with age. It's it's pretty damn good right now, and uh, I, I would say it's going to improve a little bit with some more time. But right now it's it's drinking great. It's it's scary drinkable for over 13% ABV, considering how how little alcohol character there is to the the bottle I'm drinking tonight. So highly recommend it. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.